Thanks, Frank, and I appreciate all your being here today. Uh, I feel the energy in the room, and it's, it's, it's really good to see this. So as a university and region, um, we were seeking a football coach who really had it all. Um, number one, passion for football, uh, embodiment of what football is to the region and also to the university and also to our players. And along with that, we wanted someone with a remarkable track record. Um, we also wanted someone who would appreciate the community, who would become part of who we are. That's right. <laughs> see, he agrees. <laughs> And, and really see this as an opportunity um, for legacy. And what is legacy? Legacy is that which you build over time. Legacy is that which you continuously work on, not for a year, not for two years, but for many years, uh, by doing what? Building relationship with relationships with each other and really showcasing what we're all, what we're all about here in the Valley. So uh, with this, um, a coach would also be a full partner in the vision uh, we have for the stadium, in the vision for what the stadium is, for what the stadium represents to not only Fresno State, but also to the everyday person who is out there and uh, really is rooting for, for, for the dogs. And it's that stadium, that, that space that brings us all together. It's that neutral space in which we all come together as a community. We are all proud of who we are and we all cheer on that one team that represents the entire region. And this is for the entire valley, not just for the Fresno region uh, in itself. So along with, within this context, and I'm really excited today uh, to, to introduce to you uh, our, our, our new head coach, football coach, uh, Jeff uh, Tefford, uh, because he f truly fits and embodies all of these criteria and many more. He has a passion, uh, furthermore, for empowering um, our athletes to come together. Um, the sound is off. All right, so he has a passion for uh, embodying um, uh, what it is that, that football is all about within, within the, the, the team, but also um, as lifelong learners as well. Um, he, he instills in them the, the, the lessons that, that, the, um, that, that, the, uh, that the field uh, teaches us to come together, to have grit, to be focused, to never give up. But then these lessons extend well beyond uh, the field. And uh, when they grow up, you know, when, when they eventually graduate and move on, what happens? They become incredible, powerful, centered, uh, visionary leaders within our communities and beyond as well. So I'm very hopeful for the future of Fresno State football. I'm very hopeful for athletics as a whole as well, uh, both men and women athletics. And I'm very pleased today then to have Coach Stetford as the head football coach. I want to I want to thank uh, uh, Terry Toomey, our director of athletics, who has been an incredible uh, uh, resource and incredible visionary leader throughout all of this process, alongside uh, with all my team, uh, especially Debbie Aston. But uh, Terry has really taken this to the foreground, and I really want to thank him for everything he's done to make this happen today. And with further ad without further ado, I'm going to take it. I'm going to hand it over to uh, Mr. Toomey. Terry, please. Okay, so now every time Victor Victor speaks, you know, that's like saying amen for me up here. So I just want everybody to know that's a confirmation if Victor says something to us. All right, so uh, I want to begin uh, with some thanks. Okay, I think it's very important that we recognize our blessings here. Uh, I am thankful personally here uh, to be able to, to serve as athletic director here at Fresno State and also to serve what is an amazing academic community and our valley. Uh, it is a blessing to be in this position, so thank you, President, for allowing me to do that. I also want to be, I want to thank our, our president and our administration. Uh, when you have leadership that believes in you and believes in your process and will move the extra mile in order for you to get things done and get them done in a timely manner, that is a blessing. And that does not happen with one person. So. Our administration has been crucial, and President Jimenez Sandoval has been exemplary in allowing us to move forward, and I appreciate that. I'm thankful to our committee. We had an amazing committee that uh, vetted uh, tons of uh, candidates uh, nationally in order to bring us to this point. They all did an amazing job uh, from, from our academic leadership 
Dr. Victor Torres, who serves as our FAR, to our, and our academic leadership under Sean McGuire. And of course, we had uh, our community member, uh, Mr. Brian Panish, all serving in, a, in, that, community, in that community effort. Uh, and lastly, and almost most importantly, uh, I want to thank Donna and the Tedford family for allowing us to once again go down this journey and this path. Uh, it is not just a commitment of one person when you uh, take on the leadership role of an entity like F Fresno State football. It's a family commitment. And their sacrifice uh, is going to be, I want to make sure that we fulfill the sacrifices that they're making for us uh, and the gratitude that I have for them. And we're going to fulfill that by having a bunch of success here. And there's going to be a lot of fun host, hoisting trophies and winning games here at Fresno State which is what we do well, and that's what we always do, and we will continue to do. Um, I also want to, lastly, this is my last thanks, of course. I want to thank, and I, I don't know how, how many people recognize this, I want to thank our Kalen DeBoer and his coaching staff for positioning us to where we are today. You know, these, these men uh, and the staff, men and women, have done an amazing job of keeping the pride and tradition of, of Fresno State football intact and moving forward. I know Dr. Coach DeBoer has went on to, to do his thing, and that's, that's wonderful. But I'll tell you right now, the, the, the men and women that we have here currently continuing to serve our student athletes have done nothing but show professionalism and do an impeccable job of positioning us to win our next contest, the final contest of this season. And I have a huge grant of thanks to them, our strength and conditioning coaches, people in, in our athletic training, for football athletic training, our recruiting area, the personal and athletic advising. All these people come together to make the experience of student athletes great here at Fresno State, and I thank them for that. So now I get to the, to the good part. I get to the process and kind of what we're, what we're all about here. You know, it was an imperative to get this done right. Okay, it was, we needed someone who understood the importance of Bulldog football, who understood the importance of it, not only for this university, but for our valley. A valley that spans, of course, from Bakersfield all the way up to Sacramento. One of the most important valleys of this nation who bleed red. You, they needed to understand what that meant here at Fresno State. We need to understand somebody or have somebody who understands the partnership of what you have with this university who's an ambassador to this university, who understands what this university is all about and will be a partner for the long haul. We needed someone who understood the pride and tradition of the university and of this community. So when I speak of all those things of what we needed, it culminated into a person who is truly a bulldog from his undergraduate time period, from his coaching path, wherever it was, at the end of the day, at his core, he has always been and always will be a Fresno State Bulldog. So with that, it is my honor and privilege to introduce our new football head coach, Coach Jeff Tedford. Thank you very much, Terry. I appreciate that. And um, it's great seeing you all. Um, last time we were in this setting um, was not such happy news, and so I'm really excited to be back here uh, moving forward um, with a new chapter. And uh, I can't be more excited um, about this opportunity. I want to thank the President and uh, Terry for the opportunity to do this. Um, I've been a part of this program for a long, long time. You know, when you look back over 40 years of the pride and tradition of Bulldog football is really important to me. And um, I do want to thank, reiterate on what uh, Terry said about thanking Kalen and his staff for carrying the torch, doing things the right way. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. Had a great meeting with the players this morning about um, what their role is moving forward, and that's to make sure that they continue to do things the right way focus on their academics and the preparation uh, and commitment and focus for the bowl game. Um, I'm so happy to be here and, and you know over this time I've had I've had time to reflect on certain things 
Um, and those things are passion and purpose. And while you're in the middle of coaching, you don't really get a chance to reflect very often. And so uh, the passion is Fresno State football, the game of football um, itself, uh, that it's been part of my life forever, both as a player and a coach. So I'm very passionate about that. And the purpose being the commitment to the young people to reach their full potential in all areas of their life. Football is a big thing. Wins are a big thing. But to make sure that the young men have a great college experience and achieve at their highest potential in all areas, academically, athletically, socially, spiritually, all those things are very, very important. And uh, to make sure that they understand and have pride in uh, and, and honor where they are and to make sure that they represent all of us, the university, the program, the community, that they all represent us uh, with integrity. And that's something we will continue to teach here. Um, I wanna thank my wife and my kids for uh, their support. Um, they've always been very, very supportive. Uh, they understand this. They know the passion uh, that I have and they also have for Fresno State. It's been a part of their life for a long, long time. And so I, I can't tell you how, um, how fortunate I am to have this opportunity again. Um, I think I can bring some continuity and stability to uh, in this day and age with a lot of the things that go on in the portal and so on and so forth. I think we had a great team meeting this morning and so I think, uh, you know, as, as any young person would, would have some doubt about what's going on, I think this creates uh, a good level of, of continuity and stability for them and their futures and to know uh, where it's gonna be directed. Uh, my first um, assignment really is to make sure that we um, solidify a great coaching staff, not just great coaches and teachers, but tremendous people who care about these kids on and off the football field and wanna, wanna teach and live the values that we all wanna live by. And then, of course, recruiting. Um, the, the timelines in recruiting these days, this is the last recruiting weekend coming up, so as soon as I walk out this door, I will be um, really committed to what's going on with recruiting and find out who the recruits are. I've already done some background work on it, but look forward to, to being in touch with all of them. We have a big recruiting weekend this weekend, and uh, so look forward to that and, uh, and bringing new Bulldogs in, in for the future. So um, I'm very, very excited, humbled by the opportunity again to be here, uh, walking by, you know, all these signs that were, were here uh, before, walking upstairs and seeing um, you and I on a picture holding the conference championship trophy. We're gonna do that again sometime soon. So, um, uh, but I, I love the Valley, I love the people. Um, the support has been incredible over the last few days. And so I wanna thank everyone. I, I really haven't had a chance to reach back to everyone who has uh, been kind enough to, to text me um, and welcome me back. Um, I will try to do my best to do that. Uh, there's so many familiar faces here. And when you talk about pride and tradition of a 40 year span to see Harry Gakian sit here, which I don't know what your secret is, Harry. You look the same as you did 40 years ago. <laughs> you're amazing. I don't know what, what you're drinking, the water you're drinking, but. It's, it's awesome, but uh, to see so many familiar faces of people who've been here for so many years, uh, both uh, when I was a player and a coach before, and um, I, just, I just couldn't be happier. And, and what the president talked about, about future facilities, um, absolutely all in on that, and we'll do whatever I can to promote that and, uh, and do my part uh, in, because as I look at it, you know, 40 years ago, I had the great opportunity to play in the very first season of Bulldog Stadium in 1981. And here we are 40 years later. And think about the impact that that stadium had on the community and the players that have, have been in the last 40 years that have gone down that ramp. And if we can have the opportunity to make a difference for the next 50, 60, 100 years for a new group and a new community, um, fan experience, the whole bit, you know, it's, it's huge. And uh, so, I'm all in on that to do whatever I can uh, to promote that and, um, and help make that happen. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.